up Shimon. Because we were, we were questioning these laws when we said, whenever we paskin like, when we have an argument with Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon, we paskin like Rabbi Yehuda. Uh, we just quoted a case about a private city, whether you can make a name of there. And here, Rav said, Allah is like Rabbi Shimon. Right, Uman Palegale, who is his uh, Bar Plukta? Rabbi Yehuda. Ahmed, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shimon, like Rabbi Yehuda. So the Gemara, so that's a kasha. So Gemara says, "My kushia, what kasha?" Dil ma'achanami. Hey, chadid mar it, mar echad loyit, mar loyit mar. The answer is, there are places where we they had received a tradition that the halacha is not like that person, like normally. But when it's when it's not quoted specifically halacha like somebody, and you have a, a debate between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon, we possibly like Rabbi Yehuda, except in those locations where it's brought bar, down through an itmar, through a statement that Allah was like the other person. So that's not a kasha. So the Gemara says, I'll show you the problem from the fire. It's not. So if you are living in an apartment house with multiple private dwellings opening up into a public hut into a, you know, that's shared by everybody who lives there. So in order to carry from your house into the courtyard, you need to make an Erev Chatzeros. Now, if one of those people who dwell there left the city and went to a different city, so then, and he didn't make, a, he, he didn't sell his house to the people or didn't give money, or they didn't rent his reshuts from him, then nobody else can carry. Because if you make an error when one person's missing, it doesn't work. And it were, it, whether a Gentile lives there, now a Gentile cannot participate in the error, but you can rent his dira from him. And that's, that's what you have to do if you live in an apartment house with a Gentile, you have to you have to be soicher his his the schiris. So if one of these people picked up and went to a different city, echad nochi echad Yisrael oisel nechad seros ni Rav Meir. The other people live in the chutz or can't carry there. Rav Yehuda Oimer eno oser. Rav Yehuda says, since he's out of the city, and he can't come back to use his chutz there, he doesn't prohibit. Whether he's a Jew or a Gentile. Rabbi Yossi Oimer, Nochri Oser, because a Nochri can travel, even though he's not in the city, he can come back. But the Yisrael, once he, uh, once he travels, he, 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 um, he can't come back. Meshayin Dech Yisrael Lovo Bashabs. Rabbi Shimon Oimer, Afilu Yinechaz Beso. He doesn't have to even leave the city. If he left his house, if he went to spend Shabbos by his daughter's house in the same city, he doesn't prohibit because he might come back. Because he might come back. Oh, no, excuse me, he doesn't ask her because he, he likes his daughter and he's going to stay there all of Shabbos. He's not going to be chased home. And if he's not going to show up home and all of a sudden use his chutzner. We might be different by a daughter-in-law than before she was saying mm -hmm. because they, don't, they might not get along as well and the daughter-in-law will chase, chase him away and he'll come back to the apartment house yeah. and he'll ask her. Now, in this multiple debate between the Tanoim, on Rav Chava Bar Guri, on Rav Allah, like Rav Shimon. The halacha is like Rav Shimon. Uman Paul who is his bar plot? Rav Yehuda. And you just finished telling me, Rav Yehuda, Rav Shimon, Allah, Rav Yehuda. So again, the Gemara answers are my kushya. There's no problem. Dil ma'achanami, heichadi itmar itmar, heichadi lo itmar, lo itmar. When we received a transmission 
like on Rav Chama Bar Guri, Omer Rav Halach Reb Shimon, fine. But when we don't have that statement of finality of who the Allah is like, and we just have a debate between Rav Yudah and Rav Shimon, we pass like Rav Yudah. Ela Meha, I'll show you another problem. It's not. Zesha Amru Ha'ani Ma'ariv Barag Love. Now in Ani, when he sets up his Eruv Tchumim, does not have to put down food there. As long as he walks there with his legs, heir of Shabbos, and he's physically there, when Shabbos comes in, he can set up his Eruv with his body. And Oshir has to leave food. Or has the right to leave food. Like he, he could show up there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, put some food down, and he doesn't have to physically be there. Bein HaShemashas. Rameir Oimer Anu, and Lanu Elo Anu. We also, everybody, oh, the only person who can do that is an Anu, who doesn't have bread with him. Rav Yud Oimer Echad Anu Echad Asher. Anybody can be Ma'arev with his body. The only reason they, they, they allowed you to use a loaf of bread is to make it easy on the Oshir. So he doesn't physically have to go and do it with his feet. They seem to paskin like Rabbi Yehuda. Normally Rav and Rav also finished the sugi by saying and the question is why did I need it to be said and the same thing and in general you didn't have to say anything because you already taught me whenever you have a debate between Rav Meir and the Allah is like Rav Yudah so Maybe Dilma Rab Leslie Lani Chloe. Maybe Rob doesn't hold of those laws between Rav Yudah and Rav Meir. Elameha. What about the following Mishnah? This is not. Hayavama. You have Reuven and Shimon, who are brothers, and Reuven dies without children. So Reuven's wife is a Yavama that falls to Shimon to do Yibu. However, the din is lo tachlot, lo tisyabim. They should not, he, Shimon should not do chlitza or Yibum. Ad sheyula shlosha chadosh. They have to wait three months because she might be pregnant and the pregnancy might be from Reuven. And if she gives birth to a live child, then there would be no Yibum. Now it takes three months to visually see whether she's pregnant or not. So you have to wait three months. V'chein shar kol Who become widows or get divorced. They also have to wait before they get remarried. Lo yinasu v'lo yisarsu. They can't even get kiddushin. Even though Kiddushin, we know the, the, they did not live together by Kiddushin. At the time of the Gemara, there was a six month to a year gap between Kiddushin and Nesuin. We do Kiddushin and Nesuin all on the same night by Chupa. But in the time of Chazal, there was a delay. But Kiddushin was only, they, she was an Eshas Ish, but they didn't have relations. Even so, so there was no chance that she would get pregnant, but even so, as a low plug, the halacha was, according to this Tana, she can't get married, can't, can't have Nesuin, can't have Kiddushin. Ad sheyula en shlosh ha-chadoshin. Echad besulos, echad beulos. Even if she was a besula, who never had relations before. Whether the, the Kiddushin was with a besula, or the Nesuin was with a besula. Echad amanos, echad grushos, whether she had, she had, the first husband had died or had divorced her. And even the, she might have become a widow from Kiddushin. 
or, an, or a divorcee from Kiddushin, where in general there's no relation still, Arusa That's the Tanakam. Rav Yudha Oimer, he was not so stringent. Nesuos is Arsu. Those that have been married before with Nesuin, you can have Kiddushin right away because you're not going to get pregnant from the second husband during the first three months. So, so if she seemed to be pregnant, we know that the child is from the first husband. And if it's, or let's say if she gives birth at nine months, we know it's from the first husband. And if it's later than that, it, it, it will be, or it, you know, if it's, it's, it's six months, it's from the first, because won't won't survive. So Rayuda says, and the Suos, they can get Kiddushin, because they don't have relations with Kiddushin. Arusos, those women who had been married only through Kiddushin, and then their husband dies or divorces her, Yinosu, can get married. Because again, if you if if um, if they had been married only with Kiddushin, there was no relations. You have to worry. Except for the grooms in Yehuda, they would have relations with their, they couldn't hold out. They would have relations with their Kiddushin wives. They would uh, meet up and, and, and have relations. And maybe there is pregnancy even from the Kiddushin husband. That's Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, we allow all women, no matter how, uh, we allow all women to have Kiddushin only because Kiddushin does not permit relations. And, and they can get married right away. Except for an Amana who has to wait 30 days because she's not veilist and they are evil for, for her husband who died. They are mean on Rabbi Lezer, law all the Midrasha. And Rav Yezer did not come to the yeshiva. Ravasi David Koyin. He made up with Ravasi who was there. Armele my Amr Bevei Midrasha. What was taught in the yeshiva? Armele Hachi Amr Rav Yechlon. Halachik Rav Yosi. The halach is like Rav Yosi. Michlal Dich Yichido Apologale. Was there a, a single Tana that was arguing with him? And we had already learned whenever Rabbi Yoisi argues with his chaveiro, Allah is like him. I Tanya, we have another Baraisa. Haresha Haisiridu for Lelech Savia. Let's say she was in a fight with her husband, so she was chased to go back to her father's house. Osha Haisila Kasim Bala, or she was in a fight. Or we're talking about the first husband was an old person or sick. Or she was sick or um, was known to be infertile or very old or she, infertile, or she old, or she was under the age of 12 or she was like an islandist, which is like a Kleinfelters, which is a genetic defect, which doesn't allow them to have children. Let's say when she, when her husband died, he had been in prison for a year. Or or she had a miscarriage right after her husband died. Even so, even with all of these cases where it seems impossible for her to be pregnant, the, the din is, it's a low plug. She has to wait three months as a gzeira, Otherwise, we'll be confused by other women. Rabbi Yossi, in these cases, permitted you to get Kiddushin right away and get the suin right away. Now, why Lamali? Now, then, why would I have been told that the Allah is like Rabbi Yossi if the rules that we learned yesterday apply? So why did you have to? Why did Rabbi Yochanan have to show up and say Allah Rabbi Yosi? We know it from these rules. Must be the rules don't exist. So the Gemara says, "With my kushia, Dilma lafukim and Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel, 
maybe Rav Yochanan had to say that then to make us realize that we don't pass like Rav Nachman or Shmuel, the Amar Halach Rav Meir Bigzerosa, who say the Halach is like Rav Meir when he makes Gzeris, and this is a Gzera. So we have to be told that no, the Halach is like Rav Yosi. Okay, so we're still questioning whether those rules that we listed yesterday, you know, if the halacha, you know, who the Halach is like, is, is a real law or not. Ela meha. Let's see the fine price of the time. You can go to the market, the public market, even if it was dominated by non-Jews. And you can buy animals and servants and houses and fields from them. You can even document these purchases in their courts. Because in a way, you are saving these assets from their hands. And we're talking about these markets that were done this on Christmas Day or Easter. And there's a question, maybe you shouldn't buy from them because they're going to make a good deal and they're going to go uh, offer some kind of uh, avodazara offering. It's still permitted. Vimaya Kohen, if he's a Kohen, now the din was if you left Eretz Yisrael, you had a certain tuma put on you. It's called Tumah Sa'ami. Now a Kohen is not allowed to be Metame himself. However, if he was a koyin, metame bechutzras ladun imoyim, you're allowed to leave Eretz Yisrael and be metame yourself to go and adjudicate with the non-Jew if he lived there to rescue your asset. Ukashem shem metame bechutz laaretz, kach metame beisak kvaros. Just like he went in chutz laaretz, there the tuma is derabanan. He can go through a beisak kvaros. How did he go through a basic course? Tuma de He's allowed to violate a derisa for money? No. El Besa Pras. We're talking about a field where there was some people buried there, but they were plowed under. And it's only Mirabana that you can't go there. Rabana. Umetame Lisa Isha Torah. Another halacha. If you're a Kohen, you can leave Eretz Yisrael to be metame yourself, to marry a woman, or to learn in the yeshiva. If you can't find one in Eretz Yisrael. That's if you can't find something in Eretz Yisrael. But He's not allowed to leave Eretz Yisrael if he can find a yeshiva in Eretz Yisrael. He says, even if you find a place in Eretz Yisrael to learn, not everybody can learn from certain rebbeim. And maybe there's a rav somewhere else that he could learn quicker, and so he's allowed to travel chutz laaretz. Vam rav Yosef Maisa, the Yosef a kohen cholach it's a rabbel inside him. Yosef the coin went to his Rebbe in, in, in Sidon, which is in Lebanon, which is Chutz Laretz, Lilmot Torah. Ve'amar Rav Yoich, Allah Rav Yoisi. Rav Yoichinen jumps in and says, Allah is like Rav Yoisi, now Lamali. Why did we need Rav Yoichinen to say that? Ba'amrit, Rav Yud of Rav Yoisi, Allah Rav Yoisi. Whenever we have a debate between Rav Yud and Rav Yoisi, the Allah is like Rav Yoisi. It's true. We needed to say here, when do those rules apply only when there's an argument in a Mishnah? Maybe the rule doesn't apply by Baraisas, that applies by Baraisas as well. So you see clearly That these rules do apply. 
Those rules that we learned yesterday, they're rules, but not everybody applies by those rules. For example, Rav, in a number of places, saw, we saw that Rav didn't follow those rules. Okay. Army number four. We've learned that a Jew's possession, if something is a kli is put down, it acquires its own tchum. But says Shmuel that a possession of a non-Jew doesn't acquire shvisa. They don't have dinim of shvisa. There's no tchum. A Yisrael can take them anywhere. The Lamad, Ilam Rabban on who have learned about Khatsay Hefker, that they don't have Tchum Pshita Ashta Khatsay Hefker. The Lesla who baili, that have no owner. Ain coin in Shvisa. Khatsay Anokhi the Us the Islu Baili. That have by them, the boy, and, and they have no din of tchum. Ella libid Rabbi Yehuda Nuri, who said chetzei hefker are koinin shvisa. The komash malon emer dam Rabbi Yehuda Nuri koinin shvisa are imili chetzei hefker. When does Rabbi Yehuda say that an item acquires its own tchum? That's if it doesn't belong to anybody. Less to balim, about chetzei enoch, but there's to balim lo. That's the chid. So Maysphere of Trimbet Lazar Oim Ashrog Klimen Anokar Beyond. If somebody borrows a sugar bowl, hi honey, a sugar bowl from a non-Jew and Yontif. The Chayin Amashal Anokli Klim Erev Yontif. Or you loan to Anokri a Kli from Erev Yontif. That's zero love Yontif. He returns it to you on Yontif. Or Hakelim VaOitzer Shashavsu B'Toch Atchum. Vessels. That were within a tchum, yesh lema pay mamel cholrua. They have a tchum of two thousand amos, even though they're hefker, or they were a kli that was koinish visa by the nochri. The nochri shevi lo peres michutz the tchum, the gentile who brings fruit from outside of the tchum gives it to you. Harezer lo yizim im koma. Now. It looks like they were Koinish Visa, where they were. So So we can understand this Baraisa if we uh, if we hold that Rav Yochanan says that items belonging to a goy can be Koinish Visa Hamani Rav Yochanuri, then this Baraisa is Rav Yochanuri. And certainly Chachamim hold ain Koinish Visa and Hamani. So who wrote this price? Lo Rabbi Yochum, lo 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 Rabbanu. Lo Elam Tzav Rabbi Yochum Ben Nuri Chetzi Nochri Koyin Shvis. So really, Rabbi Yochum Ben Nuri holds that Chetzi Nochri are Koyin Shvis. However, Shmuel, who said Chetzi Nochri ain't Koyin Shvis, is the owner of Rabbanu. We declare it Rabbanu Pshita. We said it's a double pasuk. So we say no, it's not a double pasuk. Maybe we make a gzera. Because owners of Yisrael, it, when, when Jews own an item, they are certainly coined a shvisa, because the dinah tchum applied to him. So we make a gzera by items owned by a goy. that we don't. However, that chepse noch we coined in shvisa. Gzera by them, the noch, not to We do make that. We do make that gzera. Hanu dichri, there were these rams, the asu lemavarchsa, that were brought to the city of Mavarchsa. Sharlo rava lebnei mechuzah lemizbi minayu. This is on Yontif, rava allowed them to buy these rams. Even though they came from Chutz Tchum, I don't know. Rabbi, my daiter, what do you hold? I'm reading Rishmal Chetzi Nochri Ein Kornish Visa, and you, you, Yisrael can take them even though they came from Chutz Tchum. 
because they're not Cornish Risa. Whenever there's a debate between Shmuel Rav Yechon and Allah's Rav Yechon, the Verm Rav Yechon and Rav Yechon, Tafsi Nochri, Korin Shvisa, because of this Gzeira Bayim the Nochri, to Bayim the Yisrael. The Hodor Amar Rav, Aliz, from the name of Arachosa, they weren't allowed to take them out of Mavarachosa. The Kulam of Arachosa, and the Duke Arba Amis Dami, the whole city is like their Arba Amis. So, so we Paskin like Rav, that if the Goyim brought something in, even from outside its Kulam, you can take them throughout the city, but not to a different city, like Rav Yechimah. Okay. So, Mirza Hashem, we'll learn tomorrow at 8.30. Okay. Hey, Teh, what time is Shabbos at? Shabbos is at early. 7.40. Huh? Yeah. Huh? 7.40? No, earlier. 7.30. Shabbos. Sh- Shabbos at 7.30. I know, but people want to make Abdullah. I, I, I put it down at 8.30 because I, they also listed it at Yang Yisra in the Kolenu at 